I had graduated at Appalachian State and um, was just kind of, was just really taking a look into uh, in my life, kind of breaking it down. Like, am I going to play another year? Am I not? And, um, you know, I uh, decided that I wanted to play. And then, um, you know, Coach V called me and, I, you know, you don't say no to Oklahoma, <laughs> you know. So uh, it worked out kind of like that. And, um, I mean, it's been awesome. And, yeah, when, when Oklahoma calls you up and say, hey, you want to you come play football for Oklahoma, you don't say no. So did your dad like give you an indication that that call might be coming? Or uh, <laughs> not really, no sir, no oh, sir, yeah. no sir. It just uh, was kind of between me and Coach V, and um, and then after everything was done, then kind of talked to my pops, and he was pumped, and everybody was pumped. So it was it just worked out great for us. What's it been like being out on the practice field with him? Uh, he talked about that dynamic of you know when you're out there, it's yeah you know, player coach rather right. than father son, but. What's that? Uh, what's that been like in practice? Um, just you know, just normal to any any coach. Like, I mean, obviously it's a little different, but um, no. Nah, once we're between the lines or on the practice field, it's it's all business, and uh, you know he's there to get me better, and and so I, I need to listen to him, and um, that's that's my role is to listen to my coaches and do what they tell me to do. So. That's kind of that's kind of how it gets broken down on the on the practice field, and then if we're on the golf course, it'll it'll be a little different. But um, nah, when we're in, when we're in this building or between those lines, it's it's completely business. What uh, you, we know about your dad's sort of nomadic uh, mm -hmm. past? What was that like growing up? Did you move around a lot? Oh yeah, oh yeah, all the time. <laughs> uh, I think I lived in like nine different states. Um, but was born in Georgia. The, went back for high school in Georgia. But you know, um, it was different. It was different experience. But overall as a person, I think it helped me because I got to see a lot of the country that, you know, people that don't that don't have to move, they, you know, they just don't get to experience. And um, so experience in different parts of especially the East Coast. This is furthest west I've been, but um, specific parts of the East Coast, it really it helps you it helps you uh, you know, it just helps you be personable and talk to people and, and people from different backgrounds or different parts of the country. And um, so I, I think, if anything, it helped me. Yeah. How does that help you settle in when you get to a new place? I see you've been yeah, there a few yourself. It, it's, yeah, it's just kind of <laughs> it's just kind of routine a little bit, you know, like, you know, you just you got to go in there. You got It's going to be awkward for a couple of days, but hey, that's just what it is. You're, you're new. And um you know, everybody here has been, like I said before, so welcoming, so open that um, it's just been an awesome experience. Does your just experience in overall playing at the college level, does it help when you transfer into a program like that, just kind of knowing the ins and outs of a program a little bit, even though it is new? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, because you've just, you've just played to a certain level and um, you've just experienced things in life that a freshman hasn't, you know what I mean? And um, it just, it helps you physically, mentally, you just kind of know what to expect. Whereas if you're 17, 18 years old coming on campus, like, okay, I think I know what I'm getting into, but like, you really don't know the grind. So I, I think that aspect of it is like what, what helps the most. Have you been surprised any by just what your new teammates have just been, it, it seems like everybody's re rejuvenated, re-energized around mm -hmm. here especially on the defense side of the football. Have you felt that from your teammates? And have they said things it's just like, wow, I didn't know it was like that a year ago? Absolutely. I, I think that right now we, we have a whole bunch of guys that are bought in and um, they really want to want to be great and really want to strive to do their best and uh, perform as well as they can for the University of Oklahoma. And so I think we keep that trajectory that we'll be all right. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.